man, I know one thing. Next time you do that, I'm out of here. I'm leaving. I'm gone. You ain't got to worry about me no more. Does that sound like you? You shouldn't be doing that. Here's why. Stay tuned. All right, family, welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. So are you guilty of telling your partner after an argument or a fight that you are leaving? Here's why you should stop doing that. I'm going to give you four reasons why. Let's jump into it. Number one, it tears down the security in your relationship. Each time you have an argument, you like, dang, okay. What's actually going to happen? Should I have this argument? Or should I have this talk? Should I bring this up? I don't know how things are going to, you know, because last time he said, last time she said, I'm out of here. It breaks down the security in the relationship. Number two, it puts the other person on edge whenever the next fight occurs because Really, they're not even paying attention to anything that you're saying. They're really just waiting on the famous line. I'm out of here. I'm gone. You ain't got to worry about me. That's what they're waiting on. Here's the thing. You might not see it in their body language. You might not even see it on their face that they are on edge. But trust me, they are on edge about you threatening to leave. And especially if you have been one of the people to walk out of the door and not return for hours or specifically not return for days, not answer any calls or texts, just nothing. You have basically gone into the abyss. And so now this time, I'm on edge thinking, I mean, well, well, should I say something? The answer is, yeah, you should say something. But for this particular video, the person is on edge like, well, damn, should I say something? How's this going to turn out? Is he going to be gone? Or is she going to be gone? We're not going to talk? Can't express myself? Number three, you can't fully go all in and commit. Because, again, you're on edge and you're feeling insecure about where this relationship is going. And furthermore, you're thinking, well, hell, maybe I should get out first. Furthermore, your partner may be entertaining other people because they're not getting this threatening behavior that you just about always show. Number four, they cannot truly let down their guard and enjoy the relationship. Enjoy the happy times. Even enjoy sometimes the arguing, the fighting, because you are able to get your point across. And maybe the other person really needed to hear it. Maybe your, maybe even your delivery actually did suck this particular time. But you got it off your chest. You can apologize for your delivery, but not for your words. Here's the thing, people. If this is some behavior that you have been accustomed to doing, you need to stop right now. Because either you're going to threaten one too many times, your partner going to be gone, right? You're going to be threatening one too many times and nobody's even taking you serious any longer. Basically, like you're crying, you're crying wolf, this is you. I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, but you're right there. The third and final thing is you have now wasted so much time because you couldn't get this one thing under control. If you know that's not the relationship for you, just bounce. Like, you don't have to announce it, just bounce. But if you truly want to stay there with this particular person, you need to get this under wraps. This is not cute. It's not funny. Right? Especially if you have have done the behavior and not only have you threatened before, but you actually walked out the door. That's not fun for the other person. And you're actually sabotaging your own self. And if this is a behavior that you do relationship after relationship, you need to figure out why you are self-sabotaging your relationships. 
Now let me know. Let me know, y'all. There's something that I missed? Let me know in the comment section down below. You know I love to read your comments. Now, finally, give me thumbs up if you enjoyed this type of video. And, of course, hit the icon or the red subscribe button, especially if this is your very first time to I Love Me Me and you have enjoyed this content. Because here at I Love Me Me Me, we are dramatically decreasing the divorce rate where me, I Love Me Me Me, is supplying you guys with the tools and tips so you can guys can continue to have happy, healthy, romantic relationships. I love you guys. I'm going to see you soon, right? Yeah.